everyone. I'm so happy and honored to be on this page, which has been started by Mike Dooley. Mike, thank you so much for inviting me on your Raise the Vibe page. It's such a pleasure. Mike is, I know all of you um, who are on this page, you know how amazing and adorable Mike is. I just love him and I love what he's doing. Um, and so first, um, my emojis, because you, um, <laughs> I can't click them right back at you, so I've got my emojis here for you. So I just want to tell you that this is a time when it's so important to reach for love and to choose love. It really is. And why do I feel that? Because for those of you here who are new to my story, who don't know me or don't, <clears throat> excuse me, or who don't know my story, um, I actually went through a near-death experience. I had, I had cancer for four years and I actually, um, I, I died, I went into a coma and, excuse me, <coughs> and while I was in the coma, I understood the reason why I had cancer. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> Thank you so much. I just had a tickle in my throat in that moment. It's typical. I was fine for ages and, and just when the video starts, the tickle started. Okay, it must be my angels. Speaking of angels, I know it was my angels tickling my throat, but speaking of angels, I just have to show you the back of this jacket that I'm wearing, okay? It's my angel wings. I couldn't resist buying it. I just <laughs> loved it. So anyway, um, when I was in the coma, because I had cancer for four years and it was terminal and I reached end stage. And when I was in the coma, I understood what had caused my cancer. It was fear. It was a lifetime of fear. And I understood that the only way to alleviate fear, in other words, the opposite of fear, is love. That is the opposite of fear. It's love. And the only way to transcend fear is to increase love. Fighting fear or hating fear or um, spreading awareness of fear does not decrease the fear. The only way to transcend fear is to increase love. And so now, with everything that's going on in the world, I know all of you are feeling it, all of you know there's craziness, and it doesn't matter which side you take, somebody's gonna attack you for your views, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. The main thing that we have to do if we want to alleviate the situation is to consciously increase love. The people who are fighting, doesn't matter whatever kind of terrorism it is, whatever uh, that's happening, they're doing it from a place of fear. They're doing it because they want to hold on to something, an ideology which they believe was what it was historically. They're afraid of losing something which they believe that they held years ago and they see, it, they see something eroding and they feel fear. And what happens, so how do people um, get recruited into these groups? How does it spread? I'm gonna offer you my opinion of how it spreads. When people feel fear, and they talk about it and they, and they spread the fear, they look for a scapegoat. They look for something or someone to blame or a group of people to blame or a race or, or a country. They look for people to blame. And when most of us are sitting on the fence about something, when we don't have strong views of love or hate or when we don't have strong views, we're easily swayed. So if you're somebody who's bored, who has nothing better to do, and someone gives you strong views and they and if somebody then gives you and shares their strong views and becomes a role model of strong views if those strong views are fearful ones that's what you'll be drawn towards but if someone on the opposite side gives you strong views which are love filled views views of how we can reach out in more kindness of how we need to collaborate instead of compete on how we can create a much better world if we all work together rather than see anyone different as enemies. If someone shared strong views that were love-filled, that's who you would follow if they are the ones you would encounter. The problem is 
that right now in this world today, the strongest role models, the ones with the loudest voices are the ones with the fear filled views. Those are the loudest voices right now. And that's why we see all this uncertainty right now, because more people are being swayed in that direction. This is why now is not the time for us to be silent. Now is the time for those of us who want a different world, who want a world filled with love. Now is the time where we can't stay quiet and just watch. We really have to consciously love more and we have to follow our passion more. So how do we love more? It starts with loving ourselves, because when you don't love yourself, the less you love yourself, the less you believe you are worthy, the more you become filled with fear with what's going on in the world. When you are filled with fear about what's going on in the world, remember you take yourself with you wherever you go. So what are you spreading? You're spreading fear. So how do you spread love? You love yourself. You follow your own passion. Don't be afraid to have fun. Don't be afraid to laugh. Don't let people who tell you, how can you have fun? How can you laugh? How can you not be aware of all the madness that's going on in the world? There will be people that will say that. Um, people say that to me as well. Like, how can I post beautiful posts when there's all this craziness happening? I'm aware there's all this craziness happening, but I don't want to spread it. I don't want to spread it. I want to spread love. I want to spread laughter. You see, this is my view about everything, even about illness, even about cancer. We don't heal cancer by spreading awareness about cancer. We heal cancer by spreading awareness about health and love and joy and taking care of our bodies. It's about spreading what we want. It's not about spreading what we don't want. So keep that in mind and consciously choose love now more than ever. And, what, and again, what does it mean to choose love? It means to love yourself and then it means to share that love. It means to make people laugh. It means to consciously share your heart with people, to open your doors to people, to continue to trust people. Because you never know, there might be a lot of people there sitting on the fence, confused, feeling fear, and you might be swaying them towards love before the fear, the fear filled people sway them towards more fear. And remember, the hatred is not actually hatred. Don't hate them back. Don't fear them back. Send them love. Because what we view as hatred is stemming from their own fear. Their fear that they're going to lose something they hold sacred. And that's why they're fighting for it. That's why it seems they feel like enemies to us. So send them love. Send love to everybody. And right now, I'd like to send love to all of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. And also, I would love to have questions from you, but I'm going to switch over to my own Facebook page. Um, so that's Anita Murjani. We're putting the link just under this post, this video. Please join me on my own Facebook page. We're going to, I, I believe the link is there in the, video uh, in the video's right. description itself. In the video description, the link is there. Please come to my page and please feel free to ask me absolutely any questions at all, anything about what I've said or anything else you can think of. Um, and in the meantime, sending you all love and especially, of course, dear Mike Dooley, thank you for starting this group. Fabulous idea. Love you all and have a great Sunday or Monday, depending where in the world you are.